This is Twit. I get a lot of guys ask me, how do I use an oscilloscope? And we're going to start doing a few things. George and I have been talking about this. But to start off, you have to figure out how do you use it? Well, here's a, here's a couple of, of uh, slides before we get into it that to show you the equipment you can buy, uh, such as a, a Kenwood, uh, Yesu, uh, Heathkit, uh, any of those guys will have us with uh, all the things we need. You just plug it in and go. So, Brian, uh, crank up that first set and let's see what we got. Uh, that's one you see behind me a lot. Now, that was, gosh, 19, I think, uh, 58, I built that. And that's wonderful because the situation we have with it and this Kenwood, they're all set up to do this already. So what you got to do is, is figure out a way to do what they do. This is the back of the Kenwood scope. And then... This is the back of the central electronics. What do you see? You see all of the ways that they have RF sampled the exciter on one side, the final on another. So we're going to be able to hook up gear, as you see in this diagram, how to hook up an amplifier, how to hook up just your exciter. And they even have a two-tone generator in it that you can plug it into your mic connector and get a two-tone generator uh, going two tones. And we'll, we'll get into this in, in weeks to come as to why you need all of this. But that's the way to hook it up. Well, what happens if you don't have it? Well, you have to build a little box. And here's a little box. No big deal. Uh, and inside that box... I just took a piece of RG8 coax and ran it from one to the other. No problem. And then we sample. We pick off of that a couple of resistors in a little uh, pad so that this T-pad allows us a pickoff point of the RF voltage and then couple it into the uh, the RCA jack. And here's the simple diagram of it. It is so simple. It takes two resistors and the T-pad and a 0.02 capacitor. That's it. And that output goes to your scope. And then, of course, the transmitter and the antenna, that just goes straight through, as you saw. And what's so neat about this is that we can see is, this is a tectronic scope, no big deal. You can go out and find any kind of scope. Now, what you're seeing there is a bad signal. I'm overmodulating. <clears throat> and uh, the, there is a pretty signal. And I'm almost close to uh, modulating it perfectly. But those are the kind of things that you see when you put all these things together. There it is installed in the system. The, two co the coax goes straight through onto the antenna. And the pickoff point comes out of the top to the scope. It's that simple. 